Hey guys, Brian with Armor here. I'm here to do an unboxing review of the Red Army Standard drum made in Romania. So let's get right into it. So this is what they send it in. Alright. Here's the instructions. There we go. Ah, shit. Alright, so I'm back with the knife. Let's get into it. Seems like it's in some sort of wax paper covered in cosmoline. So now I'm gonna teach you how to load this drum. First step is open it obviously. So you wanna hold hold the big button down and bring it back to the start. See how the follower is right there? There's gonna be tracks. See the tracks in there? It's gonna follow the tracks, so bring that there. And then you you wanna spin it until it jumps onto the second track. Let me see if I can get it. See, it just jumped right there. See, jumps. And then you're just going to spin it back home. See, now it's starting to get some spring tension on it. So, take your first two rounds and just put them in these first two slots. But do not put one in here yet. So just these first two slots. So if we continue loading the drum like this, there's only going to be 73. So what you want to do is you want to go back and get these last two ones you put in. Take them out and then re-spin it back to start and then just put them back in. So we, we re-spun it back to start and we just put them back in like that. And now we can just load it like regular. All right, now the drum is loaded. Now what I like to do is I like to press this button to get off the spring tension so I can wind it easier. So you close it. All right, and then you're gonna wind it until you hear a click. Hear your click. All right, and now you're gonna do four full turns, but I like to do eight halves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so now it's at four full turns or eight half turns. You are now ready to go. Now say you don't want to shoot this drum. What you can actually do is you just pop these and then press the button. It releases the string tension and you don't have to shoot it. But if you want to shoot it, you have to wind it down. So let's get right into the shooting footage. My afterthoughts on this drum is, it's a really good drum. For the price, I paid about $109, but I only paid that because I was having other crap shipped with it. But for the price, it's pretty good. It's way better than the Korean ones. It's made out of very good metal, obviously. You could drop it, it's not gonna really harm it. I didn't have any malfunctions, it fed perfectly. My only complaint is how long it takes to load it, but then again, it's 75 rounds. If you're considering picking this drum up, I highly recommend it, just for the looks. It looks badass. Thank you for watching and see you next time.